Hello, uh, I'm Adam from VFuels and I'm going to show you today how to uh, use the water editor in Company of Heroes World Builder. Okay, so to load up the World Builder editor, what do you mean World Builder? You have to left click on the water placement icon, which is this here. It's just a blue line labelled water placement. Left click on that and as you can see on the right you should now have a new window. It has water depth and water level on it. Okay, to place down water, you must right click off this window onto the world builder. And this will occur. This will appear, sorry. And uh, as you can see, water has now filled the whole map. To delete it, just press uh, highlight it and delete. Okay, so you can use water to fill up riverbeds, trenches, anything like that. Just right click and it will fill the trench riverbed. You can also change the depth of this water by uh, changing this here, the water depth. Change it from 2 to 4 and obviously it will get higher. And change it downwards and it will go a lot lower. Common sense really. Okay, um, so place down your water or whatever. But s say you um, you don't like the look of the water, as you can see it's very reflective, very boring. There's no tides in it or waves or anything like that. So what you've got to do to change the water and its properties, you must click on Scenario up here, just above the Save button. And then go to Terrain Properties. Left click on that and a new window is opened. What we will look at here is Water Wind and Water Reflection. Okay, to change the colour and uh, how your water will act, go under Water Reflection and Normal Map. It's a drop down menu and you can change your water. We're going to use Circle Waves Normandy. Left click on that and press uh, the Apply button here. And as you can see, the water has now changed and affected all the water on the map. Obviously it looks a lot better than the, the uh, default reflective water. Okay, to change its properties you can increase the bumpiness using this bit here, change it to I don't know, 5 and it will get bumpier. Change it to 1 and it will lose its bumpiness. Uh, you can also change the wind factor, so that much that means how much wind is affecting the the waves of it. Using this bit here, change it from 0 0.20 to 200, and as you can see, the waves have now increased their velocity and speed, moving a lot faster. All these will affect all the water on the map, not just an individual water placement. Okay, underneath wind factor you have something called ocean mode, it's a tick box, left click it and then press apply. And the water has now become a lot more transparent. Uh, if you get it right, using the max object distance from water, you can make it transparent so you can see bodies under the water. Okay, so say you don't want to use one of these circle w waves or any of these on here you want a specific water for a specific map you could y you go to watercolor and it's got all the waters used in company of heroes so there's best bedham uh swamps arnhem khan you know what i mean the the maps that are or defaultly in company of heroes so if we click on best and then apply it as you can see it's now changed the water to the map water in best. You can see it's red here and blue up there. So it gives a lot more contrasting colours. Again you can put the uh, waves on it but it doesn't really affect it that much. It only affects like certain areas of the map. You just need to find out what you like for your map and then put it down for that, whether you want stagnant water or the waves. 
Okay, so you've got some wives down, like so, and uh, you can you don't like the way the uh, wives are moving. So as you can see at the moment, they're moving um, southeast this way, and say so you want them to go the complete opposite. You use this box here, water wind only. It's a little circle, and you can just drag it. You can see now they're going um, northwest this way. It, it changes the way the the waves move. Uh, you can also change the strength of the wind here, so you can change that to four, and that will also change the speed of the waves. If you want to increase it further, you change the wind factor back down here. Okay, thank you for watching. That is the basics of the water placement and its editor. Also showing you how to change the properties of it. If you have any comments, questions, just just drop a comment on um, the video and I'll try and help you as fast as I can. This is Adam saying goodbye and happy mapping.